Welcome to our new course on design bin loads on a medium height building. In this course, I will explain the full and detailed process of calculating the wind pressure on structural elements and cladding and base moment resulting from these wind pressures for a medium height office building. The assessment of wind loads for design of this structure is based on Australia and New Zealand standard AS 1170.2. However, the general concept remains the same for every other code. AS 1170 has a very detailed and comprehensive process for calculating the wind pressures. I often see people get confused with so many parameters and regulations of the code and so I have decided to prepare this course to provide a clear roadmap for anyone who wants to learn the process step by step. I am a professional engineer working in Australia with more than seven years of national and international experience and have a solid knowledge of Australian industry and relevant standards. I also have a PhD in structural engineering and because of my passion for education and teaching, I have also worked as a university lecturer in the past. I am committed to provide contents that can fill the gap between academia and the industry by providing the practical courses. For this reason, I have created this course to give you the skills required to calculate design wind loads for a typical medium height office building and make you familiar with the fundamentals of the design. My general approach in this course is to explain some basics and general concepts of wind loading on structures and then I will explain how to calculate wind parameters in order to get the wind pressures and where in the code I'm getting these values from in a real-life example. These parameters include regional wind speed for different areas of the country, train or height multiplier and explaining the definition of different train categories, defining importance level of the building and return period of the wind considering the occupancy and use of the building, wind direction multiplier, hill shape and shielding multipliers, site wind speed, and finally, design wind speed. I also talk about aerodynamic shape factors for different surfaces or parts of the building. Calculating aerodynamic shape factors requires calculating the external and internal pressure coefficients, area reduction factor, local pressure factor, and reduction factor due to parapet, and also action combination factor and dyna dynamic response factor. These parameters will be calculated for windward wall, leeward wall, side walls, roof structure, and colliding surfaces with respect to two perpendicular directions of the wind. And then we can calculate net wind pressure for structural elements and then base moment resulting from these wind pressures for the two perpendicular directions of the wind. And at the end, we will calculate the net wind pressure on claddings, which includes wall and roof elements for the two directions of the wind. This course is beneficial for structural engineering students, civil engineering students, graduate engineers, and structural engineers ranging from beginners to intermediate level who would like to refresh their knowledge and get a practical knowledge of wind loading on structures. By the end of this course, you will learn about the fundamentals and detailed process of calculating the wind pressure and base moment for structural members and cladding of a medium height building. My goal is to add value to my students by conveying my professional and practical experience 
as well as explaining the theoretical concept behind the design. So please do not hesitate to ask if you have any questions through the message box here in Udemy or any other social media links which we have provided in our page. Also, you will have lifetime access to our course content, which means you will receive all the future updates and additions free of charge. Thanks for watching and hope to see you inside the course.